So this is the new Dyson Cinetic Big Ball. Uh, we're going to be testing out the pet groomer with the spikes here, as you show. Uh, we're going to be testing it on this dog, Siberian Husky, named Nova. Hi, Novas. Uh, so let's get it connected and we'll show you how it goes. So here's the attachment the pet groomer came with. We're going to grab the pet groomer from Isaiah Ninja Turtle. Thanks, bud. Get this assembled. Let me know what it Yeah. So, assembly should go like that. It actually swivels on the pet um, groomer part. Grab the tube. So this must go to the attachment then. Let's try this. Excuse me, bud. Excuse me, bud. Mine? 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 <laughs> Stop recording so you can try again. So this little adapter piece that it comes with actually doesn't isn't needed for the Dyson Cinetic Big Ball animal and allergy. So we can just discard this for a later model or whatnot. I'm not sure. There's a release a button here if you want to release it. Otherwise, this also swivels as well. Tolly Umpkin. So we're gonna try to pin down the dog. Oh shit! Sorry. Let's see how she likes this. Actually, has some pretty good suction already. Cass, you be careful. I'm about to get that on camera. I'm fine. <laughs> We're not cutting the dog. We're just chopping it. So the way you apply it, you just press it from this little button here. And it creates the brussels out. Let's try a little bit on the other See? It's good. It's good. Here you go. Now as you can see, Empty. It works fairly well. It's getting scabs out of the skin. I'm actually not aware of how well that's working and try to lift it up and see all the hair on it. No, really. So to release it, you just let go of the and it sucks it all in from the side and you just push it in. And now all the hair is circulating in the chamber here. So already it's working fairly well just from a couple strokes. Let's continue and see how much we get. Okay. That's about three more strokes, so we're already full. All in the chamber. No hassle, no mess. It seems to be doing fairly fine with it, too. It doesn't seem to hurt or whatnot. Get the tail. Mainly on this dog, it feels like the accumulation's all on the rear. We're kind of just going over the same same spots, and it's just still picking up a lot. Oh, 
delicious being playing our John Bones spot first. Again, that's all sucking in by releasing on the valve here or the pushy pulley. Another layer, same spot. Taking it in like a champ. This is all the underlayer of the dog. It's about mid March. It's getting warmer out. We don't need this underlayer anymore. Again, rear of the dog, collecting a lot of. We should probably dump the bin now. We could probably hold a little bit more. No! Sully. I know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I love it. Seems to be enjoying it a little bit. Less hesitant to run away. <laughs> That's kind of an example of how that works. Obviously, we'll be off this for a little while. The canisters are already almost full. A really good vacuum by my review. And that's it. Thanks. So overall, uh, it did a wonderful job on this dog. And uh, we got about five canisters full of her undercoat. And that's a pretty deep trash can, so there's a few other things in there. But uh, I would say that's pretty successful. And uh, for the first time, first day trying out the new Dyson Synetic uh, Syne Big Ball Animal and Allergy it does a pretty dang good job. Well worth the money. Thanks.